So our today's topic is Oracle Analytics Cloud, OAC. So basically, OAC is a AI, you know, in, in a simple language, we can say it's an AI-empowered BI tool. That would be the best definition. Oracle Analytics Cloud is, a, is an AI-empowered business intelligence tool, right? So if you see uh, the high-level definition, it's a suite of integrated cloud products, including S-Base, data visualization, and BI cloud services. So we have three components, BICS, data visualization, and S-Base. So going forward, we will see uh, how these things, they work in OAC. So Oracle Analytics Cloud, or we can say OAC, is an AI-powered self-service analytics platform that provides enterprises with superior reporting and analytic capabilities. So this is a typical BI definition, enterprise with superior reporting and analytic capabilities. It compiles and analyzes data for patterns before turning it into user-friendly representations. So basically, it gives you all the patterns. This allows users to understand business operations better and create more accurate predictions and projections. Okay, so this is again a, a BI function. OIC gives goes beyond the standard drag and drop data analysis solutions as it generates AI based insights. Now, again, like EPM, we have this insight feature, AI based insight feature in OAC. It automatically offers suggestions to quickly analyze data by anticipating your data requirements. You can evaluate future outcomes using AOAC in just a few clicks, right? Uh, OAC collects information from public sources, so connections are very good in OAC. You, you Already they have given some uh, universal connections through which you can connect to different data sources very easily in OAC, okay? so. Uh, to produce new columns such as population counts for various states. For example, I mean, allowing you to analyze your current data better. So in multiple languages, basically, you can report your data. This is another feature in OAC. So these tools enable you to create insights rapidly and communicate reports swiftly to help you make timely decisions. In simple words, you can link data from different sources, transform it, and build a single source of truth or self-service data visualization. So when I say data visualization, which means you can give different type of shapes to your data. With a click of a button, you can change if that doesn't suit you, you can change the form and look and feel of the uh, data visualization. So now OAC nutshell. So Oracle OAC is an AI powered solution that provides robust reporting and analytic features to businesses of all sizes. It offers a strong selection of reporting and analytic features from the convenience of the cloud. It prepares and analyzes data for trends, then turns that data into an intuitive visualization for users to explore and share. This helps users to deeper understanding of a range of business questions as well as make accurate predictions and forecast. So OAC basically, it has no direct link with Oracle applications, okay? It's a separate application, basically. It's a separate cloud. So when it comes to Oracle Applications Cloud, it has nothing to do with it. If a organization is looking for a BI solution, OAC could be one of the solutions. It is an AI-powered BI tool, in a nutshell. Now, Oracle Analytic Clouds Oh, is being offered as SaaS also and PaaS also, right? So it, it's a SaaS and PaaS empowered uh, BI tool. Uh, it's subscription based, right? And it is very flexible and very elastic when it comes to subscription based. Okay, so there are two two uh, uh, modes of additions in OAC. We can have an enterprise addition or we can have a professional addition. So if you see here uh, different uh, features of uh, OAC, 
available in enterprise and professional. So in enterprise, we have all the uh, features enabled. You can use that. But in professional edition, some of the features are not there. Now let's, let's discuss on the key features. So as a, as a, as an BI tool, uh, data preparation is one of the features, which means uh, uh, in OAC, you can automate the data preparation also, like we have an EPM. So for example, if you have uh, historical data, if you have a data connection of OAC with any data warehouse, uh, it can pick the data, it can prepare the data with the help of AI. Then we have data connectors. I will show you a, uh, a separate sheet on data connectors. So there are 45 data connectors as of now uh, through which you can connect it to different data warehouses, databases, and big source data. Right? Visualizations. So this feature is again very, very important. So there are different options which include charts, graphs, grams, you know, and others through which you can visualize the different forms of data. So there are hundreds of third party visualization options which are available here. Uh, predictive analysis. So lots of, you know, patterns can be created through AI, which will help in the predictive analytic uh, in OAC. Uh, this is uh, uh, through mobile also, you can use OAC, right? Embedded analytics, uh, embedded it into other enterprise solutions such as CRM. Uh, so it's very strong in the embedded part as well. Service management. So there are two modes. Either uh, Oracle OAC can be managed by Oracle, or it can be managed at the client level, right? So both modes are available. So difference will be uh, from the cost side and the security side. So basically now what, what we are saying is, uh, OAC is one of the best uh, products available in the market when it comes to BI. So it has an edge over other BI tools when it comes to uh, AI and machine learning. It is it has some very strong AI and machine learning features. Uh, it has some very strong insight features, right? Uh, what if scenarios uh, and some other very strong features are there, which gives it an edge. Now, if we see the components of Oracle Analytic Cloud OAC, so like we, we, we discussed a visualization, data visualization cloud service, which is called DVCS and uh, BACS, Oracle Business Intelligent Cloud Service. So they both are the part of OAC. Okay, so, and they both are available as a SaaS solution. Oracle Smart View is also a part of OAC. Right, so which which uh, gives you uh, an integration between uh, OAC with the office applications, right? So you can see your data in uh, different forms in Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Oracle day by day. Now this is one of the first you know BI tool that utilizes AI to evaluate what to examine in OAC and automatically display reports and insights. Right, so it, it 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 learns what you are interested in and when and where you are interested, and generates the data insights in ready to use analytic chart codes. Oracle Aspace is also a component of OAC. So this is just for the pricing part. Now coming on to the special features, uh, the connectivity. I will just show you. OAC uh, data connector through data sources, if you see here. Data sources which are supported for use with OAC cloud. We have like connection type for Oracle applications, Oracle data warehouses, 
ट्रांजेक्शन प्रोसेसिंग क्लाउड ओ सी आई ऑरिकल डेटा बेस ऑरिकल ई पी एम क्लाउड ऑरिकल एस बेस आई पी डी एन नेट स्वीट फ्यूजन क्लाउड टैलेंट एक्विजिशन एमेजोन एमेजोन रेड शिफ्ट अपैचे सी एस वी फाइल ड्रॉप बॉक्स गूगल एनालिटिक्स गूगल बिग क्वेरी गूगल ड्राइव सो यू नो ऑल दी मेजर एप्लीकेशन एंड क्लाउड सर्विसेज दे आर हैविंग ए डेटा सोर्स विथ ओ ए सी आई बी एम डी बी टू इन्फॉर्मिक्स जे डी बी सी माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल एस क्यूल डेटा बेस मैंगो माई एस क्यू एल राइट easy and another feature is easy and advanced visualizations so you can shape up your data i mean you can see your data the way in it which uh, it it suits you best so on this is again a very significant feature uh easily integration with autonomous data warehouse adw now this is an feature which didn't exist just a few seconds on vendor's platform now it is possible with just a few clicks to establish a connection to any a data warehouse directly with oac without the help of any you know dba or it professional any any functional can uh, can connect it perform a connection to aw adw so machine learning and ai is already very active in oa oca oac okay obi and oac so if we see the history of obi uh, uh, in early 2000 oracle launched obi um, they they acquired oracle acquired cbl and hyperion and then it launched uh, obi in the market oracle bi in enterprise edition now from 2021 basically oracle has stopped uh, the support for obi okay so now there are lots of customers oracle customers which are still using obi so now one of the best option for them is oac so any any client which, which which is using obi either they can migrate to oac or they can migrate to oracle analytics service os or any third party uh, you know cloud based uh, bi tool so this is just to give you an overview of uh, oic thank you